hey y'all welcome back to my youtube channel <laughs> so guys it's really interesting to be back back here so yes for my new new subscribers i'm really really pumped up thank you so much for subscribing to my channel for the guys who it's their first time to be here my name is Martha Shiro yes and this is my channel where you get motivated you get inspired you get entertained you get motivated yes and so welcome 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 now today it's a get to know me video where you get to know a bit more about myself um yeah and i've written a couple of questions where i'm going to refer from and so let's go down to it so <laughs> my first second and third name so my first name is martha my second name is wanjiro and my third name is njenga so njenga is my dad that tells you mm, not yet so mm -hmm. what's my nickname my nickname is she most of my friends call me she and i'm okay with it yeah because it's from my name yeah so when is my birthday my birthday is usually on the 10th of 10 of that year that i was born <laughs> Honestly, I don't have an issue with my age. I am not sure how old I look, but I'm 27, guys. And this year, on the 10th of 10th of 2020, I turned. Yeah, I know that's so unique. 10, 10, 2020. <laughs> it's so unique. And I thought that I will do myself a big birthday. Eh? A big, a big and better birthday than the one I had last year but hmm, things changed some things happened which i i had no control over but either way i celebrated my birthday i had a cake thanks to my friend yes and i'm grateful i'm grateful because i was able to see another year where so many people have not been able to see it but i did and i had a cake that's enough that was enough honestly so yes my other question so what's what's my profession my profession i am a medical lab technologist yes i mentioned in my first video and where the guys work under closed doors you know we are like scientists it's not like we are like we are scientists we work under closed doors yeah as in how interesting is that you can know what the patient is suffering from even before you see them i think in the medical field where they're quiet we're the most quiet we are the most not recognized but we do what we do with passion and that, sh that tells you that i i love what i do yes so my siblings so guys i have two sisters and i have one brother I am a second born in my family. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which high school did I go to? So my high school, I did it. I, I went to Enomatasiani Girls High School. It's a high school in Kajiado County. That's where I did my high school. And the interesting thing is that Enomatasiani is a Maasai name, which means a beautiful tree, if I'm not wrong. It means a beautiful tree, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's the right word. Yeah, so high school was good, but I really didn't enjoy it, Sana, because it had its own challenges. Probably soonest I'll be able to speak of the same why it was a bit challenging for me to be in a boarding high school. But yeah, I will... I will gather my confidence and talk about it. Actually, I think so. Very few people know why I didn't like high school. But on the other, the most memorable moments was when we went for for drama. Yeah, even in in campus, I went to drama. Yeah, and those are the most memorable moments. Otherwise, mm -mm. yeah, it didn't work for me, Sana. So, um, my, my, where, where do I see myself in 10 years? Wow, in 10 years, 
all I see is growth. Honestly, I just pray that I'll have grown to a level where I desire to be. And both in all aspects, financially, mentally, as in name it, spiritually, um, emotionally, I've mentioned. Yeah, in all life aspects, I just pray that I'll have grown to to the extent unto which I really desire. Yeah. So what's my favorite music genre? Yeah, it's genre. <laughs> This one I learned from an English teacher in high school. She was very, very, as in she was, she was passionate about what she was doing. So that's why I remember her. So for me, I love worship music. Worship music makes you to go to a different level. Um, they say that every every song that you listen to has a spirit behind it. So for me, uh, worship music works for me lot a lot a lot a lot this is why you, you're able to connect to connect with your maker you just don't don't sing it's more it's more of a of an intimate moment with your maker yes um hmm. so what's my favorite junk food i mentioned if you're my friend and you don't know what my favorite junk food is honestly i don't think you you know me well yeah because it's cake me i don't think as in i just love cake <laughs> i don't think there's a week that goes by if i have not eaten cake as in real cake mm -hmm. uh -huh. what's my personality so for me i think i'm more of an introvert because when i as in i enjoy me time and i also um enjoy me time but for me there are things which are kind of hard for me like if i'm new at a particular place and i don't know anyone i will really keep quiet i will keep it to myself i think that's the reason why uh because when i was in class eight i my family was shifting but so i could not shift my mom could not allow it that i shift because she knew if she changed the schools which i was I was attending it will not be okay for me it will not so i think that's the reason she also didn't transfer me yeah so i usually have a hard time um, getting to as in i i'm not a, like a sanguine who will come and start stories with you and talk and talk for me i'll be quiet but after we know each other i'll talk and talk and you'll be surprised hey okay so you talk <laughs> anyway yeah so i also enjoy my me time i enjoy quiet time i prefer being with myself than being in crowded places and that really really works for me because i'm able to focus on me i'm able to 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 expound on what i love i am able to write by the way guys i love writing that is her that is one of also one of the ways where i i express myself yeah and it works for me it works for me big time so what's my biggest fear so my biggest fear is not being able to accomplish what god uh created me for so that's that has to do with my purpose so uh, i believe everyone was created for a specific purpose so likewise i just pray that I'll, i'm in god's timeline that I get the blessings of a particular day. Yeah, and just that I'm in his his timeline, yeah. And I am moving according to how he has planned it out for me. Because he says he has good plan for me, good plans for me, not for failure, but for a future and a hope. You know, how cool is that? Yeah. So what's my dream job? What was my dream? childhood job so i thought when i grow up i will be an actress and i actually tried out uh after high school i went and tried at kenya national theater that's knt what and i'm telling you if you've been there hey hey it's tough it's tough you can go there for a whole week or even two weeks without auditioning going for auditions and auditions but you're never picked because it was just tough tough 
um like so many people who we see nowadays they say that's where they started from and they are able to maintain the crown because the crown was they they were able to put on to learn a lot as in to start from scratch but eventually i joined campus where i also did drama but i am not sure that's my area nowadays yeah so what keeps me going basically what keeps me going is the fact that i know i have a maker the fact that i know that i was created and the word of god tells me that even god tells me that even before i was formed in my mom's womb as if he knew me how cool is that hmm? he knew me he has good plans for me that what he's about to do no ear has heard no eye has seen huh wow as in he also says that as in he he gives us so many promises which man cannot complete or do what they promise at times because of situations and all but for him he says that what he says he will do he will definitely bring it to pass and that he's not a man that he should lie nor is he a son of man that he should repent so actually this one keeps me going knowing that every day there is someone who who gives me life because life is given by god who takes care of me who keeps thinking about me who tells me that he'll never leave me nor forsake me wow as in why should you not have a reason to keep on going because your family will never be entirely be with you your boyfriend your husband or your wife will entirely not be with you not even your kids but you know that you have a maker so that one for me really stands out that keeps me going even when i feel so discouraged even when i feel like nothing is really working in my life i just know he's got me and that keeps me going so that's the same way i have faith that every day is going to be better and better and greater so even for you outside there for you that is listening to me yeah please subscribe to my channel and i believe i'll also subscribe i'll i'll also get more subscribers it's all by faith honestly so thank you guys for watching this video looking forward for the next video and i'm so grateful so see you on my next video and always continue being the best version of yourself in every stage that you're in yes so bye guys